So, hello, hello, up there. Hello. They're above us, I don't know why. Well, the audience should always be above the participants. They, sh they should, shouldn't they? So, Dead Zone, we're playing, <laughs> in that case, you're playing the Enforcers. I am, for the first time ever. First time ever. I'm playing the Nameless, which are a relatively new faction. And I have bought a Goliath. I have no idea what that means, however, what I do know is this, I've not got zombies. No zombies. I'm used to playing Maze on Labs, it's, and for the first time ever, I don't have Lukash Koina, no. and I don't have zombies. No. It, Instead, I yeah. have guns. Lots of guns. Guns. No zombies, more guns. This is weird. That is weird. But we, we're going to see, and essentially it's, it's, it's a question I've got, is the Goliath too hard? Is it killable? So we're going to test that today. What do you? Yes, I, I think he's got a secret plan. That's what I think. So 200 points each side. Normal kind of deployment. Yeah, uh, objective based. And we, we might even put some uh, might put some loot counters out today. And that's the Ooh. first time you've, that you've done that, I think. Haven't you? Yes, so, yes. So um, we'll do that too. After the epic Halloween game of zombie recycling, zombie it will be interesting. Oh yes. Yeah. An actual strategic game. That's a, yeah, a game with strategy and, and tactics and stuff. Rather than just a zombie rush, which was the most fun game I've played in a long time. It'll, it'll never work. So, 200 points of enforcers. We start with the sergeant, Pathfinder Sergeant, moving on to... Pathfinders themselves as the troop choices mm -hmm. and they are accompanied by their close combat bodyguards assault enforcers. Then on to specialists, we've got a sniper. I think you're going to need the extra dice, I do. Um, and you get them for free with that, don't you? Yay. Uh, and we have the um, specialist there, a specialist enforcer with a burst laser. Because suppression is important and uh, with that in mind I've also thrown in a, a dog drone because I think dog drones are ace. For, 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 for so few points, giving suppression out um, so easily, even though they can't hit for toffee, um, I still think is, is a really good thing. And finally, a mighty strider with a Polaris cannon for anti-tank or anti-carapace work, you decide. I think something the Nameless have got now in the Outbreak expansion is they uh, they look a lot different. They've, they've got a lot of... Uh, weird and wonderful aspects and and that starts with our leader for the 200 point nameless strike team the psychotroid he's psychic and he's one of the a few times i'd use a psyker in a force so then we've got lots of little scuttly beings we've got two inkers there with their essentially ink clouds which act as smoke grenades so uh, they're really really frightening they just kind of explode even when you kill them they explode into smoke grenades which is ace i think then we've got for scuttlers, because I like scuttlers, with their little horde rule, they can actually be quite, quite I wouldn't say good in combat, they can be semi-competent, shall we say. Then, for specialists, I've got an assassin, run interference, get into the back lines and see what that can do. An ogre for, I don't know, to, to run interference, to jump onto objectives as well uh, and try and keep them. And then a rifleman to help uh, close combat people by um, uh, imposing the triclinic shard, um, uh, a kind of crystal which guides the close combat attacks of other other members of the strike team. And then finally, oh my goodness, the Goliath. I'm, I'm a bit scared myself and it's on my side. So um, the Goliath is going to stride forward and see if it can essentially land on something and dare the enforcers to take it off him. So uh, there we go, 200 points of Nameless. So here we are, the battlefield. So uh, which ends are we gonna be playing from? Which corners will we be playing from? You point to them, Warmaster Zaz. Oh, so will we be going here to that? I think that's a good idea, great. So which squares do we set up in? We'll be setting up in that square there. One, two, three, four, that way. One. Yeah, one, two, three, four. That's that it. That's Brilliant, fine. great stuff. And then we'll set um, um, we'll set objectives down, um, uh, which will go from the the other, essentially the the, the other diagonal there. The veteran sergeant has recon of one, so it only gets four dice, but only needs to roll a four up. That's it. And I get two extra dice, so I get five dice in all, but I have to roll a. 
Let's have a look. Five up, I believe. Nope, four up as well. Oh, okay. The Psychotroid is indeed a great leader. So the Veteran Sergeant rolls uh, four dice, the Psychotroid rolls five dice, and we need fours. Okay, go, go for it. Go for a roll. Okay, how many successes? It's a one, one, five, six. So that's two successes. Two successes. And what do I get? Double seven. So that's equal. We've both yep. got two successes. So we re-roll. You get one, two, three, four successes. Two of which are eight. But do eights explode at eight this point? Eights do explode. How many have you got though? One. Okay, success. so I'll win. I, I yeah. don't need to do the, uh, the explode. exploding eight. Okay. I'll elect with the nameless to set up first. My nameless have set up with the large hulking combat power to the center there with the ogre and the goliath waiting for a bull rush perhaps is what they're after into the center of the board with the scuttlers assassin and rifleman the rifleman there uh, in the middle possibly to take up a bit of a high point there start shooting at people and then everyone else ready inca's ready to move forward to uh, try and cover as best they can and then We've got the Psychotroid down there in the trench with a, a Scuttler and an Inca again to try and save it from the withering firepower of the enforcers. Withering hail of fire! Absolutely. My Pathfinder Sergeant, known as Zolf Diggler, is hidden behind this large pile of rock here. To the left and right of him are two enforcers. Mm -hmm. In front of the enforcers, we have two Pathfinders and also a Pathfinder specialist, is it, here? That's right, with a sniper rifle. We have another specialist, this time an Enforcer specialist. Oh, with the burst cannon? Yep. Excellent. And finally, in front of him, we have a dog drone. Dog drone. And, and where's, the, uh, where's the Strider gone? I don't see him. The Strider may be oh. subtly placed somewhere with a really, really commanding view of the battlefield. Where is he? Oh my goodness. Very that's, subtle. That's very high. Very subtle. Very subtly there. But then what shooting do I have to knock him down? I think that's actually quite a clever plan. So what are you doing just as I get started? No, says Warlord Zaz. No. He has scouting moves. So his Pathfinder, uh, two Pathfinders in fact, and Pathfinder Specialists can both move forward. So where are they going? Oh, hang on. Okay, yeah. So Pathfinder has gone there, there. What, both in the same square, are they? Yep. Ooh, okay. And there's this another one, one is the sniper. in a separate square, yeah. Separate square? The sniper any... is in a separate square. Excellent. Can any of them gain height to get an even better advantage? Probably not this stage. Nope. So there we go. So uh, Pathfinders and Pathfinder Specialist with sniper rifle, that's a very important move, has moved forward into better fighting position. Scary. So on with the first turn. The command dice and the enforcers get, what do you get? I get two extra activations, mm -hmm. an extra shoot, and a splash. And do you like those or do you want to re-roll any? I don't care for my activations. Ooh. Better, an extra shoot. Still one activation. Yeah. Sadly. But nothing wrong with an extra shoot. So that in total is two extra shoots, one extra spl one splat, and one extra activation. I don't, you can't complain at that, I don't yeah, think. That, I would say, is a good one. Okay. And for me... Okay, you have two activations, mm -hmm. an extra move, mm -hmm. an extra combat, Ooh. and an extra dice. Okay, well, well, we'll keep... Where's the extra dice? I keep the extra dice. Where's that? Is that the move? That's the move. Yep. Okay, we'll be roll those. One extra shoot, two extra dice, Ooh. and two extra move. So with the nameless first move, I move an inker from there. Just where is he there? There he is, and he's going to pop smoke. So that square now is covered in inky smoke. It's I have evil tactic to me. the Goliath. It's a, right, so with a splat, with a mantic splat, with an yep. army special rule, he's removed the splat and he's tagged the Goliath, making the Goliath one dice easier to hit for um, tag rifle armed troops. Yep. The Nasty. rule is called target acquisition. Target acquisition. Very good. So the Strider is uh, going to start proceedings off and shoot at my poor innocent Goliath. Look at him there. 
it's, it's range, tw range 12 AP4. My goodness, I better put some dice into this. Um, so I'm going to put, uh, let me see, I'm going to put two dice into that. Your defence, you have the a save of four up. Four up, and the Genling hits on a four plus, I believe, for you. It's five for everyone else, but the uh, Enforcer Genling is better than everyone else's. So of course, yeah. Oh, look, an eight. An eight, good. So two hits. Two hits. Oh, so um, it's what's my armour? My armour's only four. Yeah, your armour indeed is. And four. your AP four, is that right? Yeah. My goodness me. So I need to roll some of these, uh, otherwise I immediately get injured. So it's three, two extra dice that I've declared. Tell me what I get. There's an eight in there, so roll another one. That was an eight as well. So I'm so... safe. Safe, that was lucky. Okay, so, yeah. anything else you'd like to do? Perhaps. Well, I'm going to spend a shoot action to make him shoot again. You're gonna shoot again with the Genling. I think that's an excellent idea. Go for it. One hit. One hit, okay. okay. What does the AP do? Uh, the AP removes my massive armor. Okay, what do I get? You get an eight, two and a one. So I'm safe on yep, this occasion. However, eight. that shows how vulnerable the Goliath can be. So my second move, um, uh, I've got an inker that goes from there to one, two over there and he pops smoke as well. So essentially we've got kind of bank of smoke now in front of my force, trying to stymie the snipers over there because I'm frightened of them. Though that Genling has taught me that there are other um, great sources of, of danger. So next my ogre comes in for it as the sniper. Where's your sniper? There. Excellent, it's going to take a shot over the board at the sniper ogre rifle, on that side. And heavy sniper scope. So it's one, two, three, four hits. Four hits, my goodness. So I need, what do I need as an ogre to survive? Your save is four up, but you have two armor. Two armor, there we go. So you save two. Two, plus two armor, four. Four. So he's safe at the moment. So my Goliath has moved from there. He can't really move forward because that wall's very solid. Uh, I think he'd have to go up and he can't go up anyway because he's so big, he can't go onto that ledge. So he's had to go sideways and then down into the catacombs there. So he's got a bit of cover, but you can still see him because he's so massive. Yep. His tentacles come up over ground. <laughs> so uh, that's what he's done for his turn. To assault enforcers that were here. Yeah. Have ran forwards too. Yeah. To here. Again, being maybe not thinking uh, ahead enough with my deployment, I put the ogre behind cover, not wanting it to get shot, but sadly, that's kind of penned him in. He can't get through the small holes there. So he's had to go right, then forward one, and I've used a move dice to put him just there. You put your commander. I've moved my commander a square forward. A square to forward here. there, and uh, he will lay in wait. He's tagged someone this turn already, isn't he? He has, yes, yeah, the Goliath. Cool, cool. And my rifleman has put himself out of position by my use of my own Incas. <laughs> He's moved along two there to behind cover. Maybe he can do something in there next turn. The Pathfinder there just burns his activation. He's in a fair enough position there. Yeah. Uh, um, but he can't see through smoke at nope. the moment, so he's just going to stay there and uh, get a better shot next yep. time. Uh, a scuttler, the first scuttler I've moved, moves from the catacombs up to behind this cover here. So another pathfinder there, is it in that square? Yep, same yeah. square. Burns his activation again, yep. waiting for the smoke to clear. The uh, nameless assassin bolts forward one, two, three to end up with his scuttler companion behind the cover there. A bit scared of shooting in the next turn we are. The sniper there burns his activation, again waiting for the shot when the smoke clears. And another scuttler moves from there, one, two across to behind cover in the center of the board. So last thing to go is this guy who's gonna burn his activation. Burn his activation again, who's he? Guy with the big laser. Oh, okay, cool. The Psychotroid commander has moved one used a roll, move dice. Rolls a three dice shoot test. And he... With no modifiers, if successful, the target model removes an activation token. It is a shoot action, It's a yes. shoot action. He shoots on a five plus. Yep. So what does he get? 
113. 113, so he actually fails to do that. So there we go, so he's gonna use a shoot dice to try that again. What does he get this time? Five, six, six. So he actually makes it this time. Yeah. And uh, it, so the um, Goliath gets to go again, essentially. So the Goliath is gonna pop up out of there and he's gonna move on to the objective. And he's gonna move on to the objective there. There we go. Uh, there's not much else he can do, uh, so that, that's what it'll that's what it'll do. That'll be the end cool. of his turn. But at the end of the first turn, what position are we in? I'm quite far forward. I've done all right there. Yeah. With the smoke, judicious use of smoke. The Incas are, are really good for their eight points or whatever. Use. They're, they're useless now. I think if you shoot them, they ink again. They are useless in close combat. So they've done their job. I'm happy with what they've done. They so, need to get your army forward. Absolutely. So my army's getting forward, the scuttlers are getting forward, it's all, it's all going swimmingly. I'm not quite as far forward as I want to be because I wanted the Psychotroid to reactivate, you see? To use that shoot dice to activate another model. But I only got to activate one model. However, it is a Goliath, it is sitting pretty on an objective now. So mm -hmm. he is happy with that. So at the end of turn one, it is two victory points to the Nameless and zero to the Enforcers. I roll for the smoke, both smoke actually stays in play. So uh, I guess that's useful for a rush army. However, I now have to come forward past the smoke, which I'm not going to enjoy. Uh, command dice for the next turn. What'd you get? <laughs> Two combats, a splat and a shoot. Ooh. I'm gonna really get want... rid of those yeah. combats. Yeah. Two extra activations. Okay. Okay, tell me what I get, because I'm far away Three dice, a shoot and a splat. Three dice, a shoot and a splat. I'd re-roll the shoot, but that's it. I like the shoot. I'm going to keep them. So um, you finish first, so you go first. Wardle's as is declaring that he's yep. marking... What are you marking? The Goliath yep. for destruction um, yep. with a Pathfinder tag yep. rifles very and good the first thing that's going to fire is this at that it's the genling cannon i'm going to be using my dice to try and save myself from now. that one one well i've just wasted those three dice then haven't i so i'm going to get a four amongst that yep i'm totally wasted those three extra dice did you, you, did you, did you, you have a shoot dice have, amongst that um i have a shoot dice Excellent. which i'm now going to use right so i now only get three dice <laughs> defend did i use too many dice there dead zone generally perhaps i did what did we get there fours hit for you fours in which case i got three three oh, okay and i get one two two minus one for the tough, tough. so that'll be so i'm safe this yeah, time i'm going to burn an activation yeah to hit it with a tag rifle okay and uh, where's the tag rifle yeah. Is the tag rifle able to gain height, gain height in any way? No. That's fine. So you're going to hit it with a tag rifle. Which does nothing. So uh, not liking the incoming fire, the Goliath decides to jump on... Are they two enforcers? Yeah, two assault, assault enforcers. enforcers. Two assault enforcers down in the trench there. So I'm bigger and I charge, so I'm going to get five dice for that. Uh, I get five dice because I've charged yep. and I'm bigger than you are. However, you outnumber me, so you get four dice. So there we go. Tell me what I get. Eight, six, two, two, two. So yep. add another dice. Same. No extra added. No, so you get two. Two. Ouch. What'd you get? I got one. One, but you get frenzy. True. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Neither. Um I am AP, so you take one wound. Okay. That could be worse. Yep. To be honest, yeah, that, that's that's not to be again. The the Goliath proving there, I think, though very hard, it it may not have been like to die in that costume. It, it didn't actually do a great deal of damage yep. there. So Warlord Zaz wanting to get clear of the of the evil monster now moves his uh, uh, assaulting force away. So get an extra dice. Mm -hmm. he's, he's injured, isn't he? Two extra dice. Three to hit. One, two, three, four. So he's dead. Oh well, he's yeah. got he's got a roll. He could roll back. He's going to defend, isn't he? Now, now he defends on what? So this is just his armor, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, I think he may defend on a four, you know. Yep. Four. Cool. Still gets to re-roll for frenzy. 
Uh, well, all three were successes, but you go. Oh. You do one damage, which will be stopped by the armor. So that's. Oh, he's so, AP, hasn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, he's got AP. So he's dead. Ah, oh, damn it. So he nearly survived, though. Okay, so now at least he's clear. Yeah, I'm spending my extra activation. Oh, right, good. So he's going straight Shooting for it. him with a sniper rifle. Right, and I've got not a lot of defense there because I've burned my dice so this turn already. I get two extra dice because it's Two a extra dice. Rifle. And you're at height. So it's three extra dice. Fours to hit. One, two, three, four, five. My goodness. Another eight. Another eight. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. The eight train has hit the station. Minus five is three. Re you that was an eight, so now we're down to two. One. One. Which you will ignore because of the thing. So Because of toughness. Oh, AP1, I'll do one to him. That's right. Good. So, so, so that, that's big. That's huge. That's huge. So the Goliath... He's practically dead. The Goliath is wounded. Seven successes. Seven successes. I move a scuttler. One, two. Uncover that. Armor-piercing ammo. Absolutely Yay. useless to me. In reply, Warlord Zaz, what do you do? I activate this guy here. Yeah. He's just a... Sorry, this guy here. Yeah. So he's going to move to there, shoot yeah. his tag rifle at that. At what, sorry? At the Goliath. At the Goliath. So he's at height yep. and he's tagged. Yep. So that's two extra dice. Which I've done. And you roll... Two successes. Two successes. So his armour will handle that. So my scuttler, uh, another scuttler moves forward one, two, uh, mm -hmm. to just there. And you can see the medipack that he's just turned over and can't pick up and can't use. So we've got the... Oh, oh. One. One, okay, so that's okay. So, so the, the Pathfinder there is going to uh, shoot his tag rifle at the Goliath, again, unable to penetrate his thick armor. Then another scuttler moves forward, one, two, into that square there, uncovers extra ammunition, which he can't use either. It's, we're, not, we're not very good scrap dealers, the Nameless. So we've got the, we've got the Enforcer there with a heavy burst laser. It's gonna shoot down the trench at the Goliath with his heavy burst laser. So he is at height. He's forced to hit. Um, three. Three, good, and he's got weight of fire as well, so he gets to re-roll one if there's a miss, and I think he's rolled four, so. Yeah. Oh, an eight. An eight, another roll. Another eight. Another eight. Another eight. No! <laughs> okay, so a total of seven. How many? One, two, three, eight. Oh, a total of one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven. Did you buy shares in in the eight train Northern Railway? Considering That's that, amazing. One, I've not damaged him yet this so what's, turn. What's, oh, one's an eight. One's an eight. So. That's a five. So, so I'm so, only on fours, I believe, to say. So you have three there. Yeah. So I'll take away three. Yeah. Your armor is four. One, two, three, four. No, my arm's four. not four. My armor's two. Your arm. Are you sure? Yeah, two your plus tough. Right. So three successes gone. Yeah. I had that. Armor two. Tough. tough. So you've done another one. I've done one. Easy. He's half dead. The uh, rifleman is going to move up to the first level there and he's going to shoot down across the table to what we've got there we've got the enforcer with the burst laser so that's uh, four dice and f only fives to hit however what do i get one eight one so eight roll again roll again okay one one, and which you have is armor. armor code. Okay, so the dog drone, which to be honest is my favorite unit, and I think rapidly becoming Warlord Zaz's favorite unit, um, is going to have a go at that Goliath. I don't know what the chances are, but he is going to have a go. Hey, he's been rolling enough eights, I've got to say. Well, this this turn. You've, um, done, you've done all right. Yeah, this turn my luck has been um, quirky, quirky, to say the least. That's the word for it. Okay, you roll away. It's way to fire as well, way to fire one, because it is a burst laser. So, three. Three, oh, okay. So, I should be okay, because I've got armor. Yeah, I'll be fine, because I've got armor and tough. Yeah. The Inca that was there, he, he's kind of done his job now. Um, he doesn't want to die, he's not much use in close combat, so he's just popped down into the trench there, a long one, and he's just jumps onto the objective marker. 
So your commander, where's your commander at the moment? Commander Zolf Diggler. Very good. He is again at height over the uh, Goliath down there. So he's gonna he's gonna take that shot. So he's he's elevated and plus one for the tag. So plus two dice. Tag. Oop, that one went out. So that missed. However, I got an eight. Mm -hmm. So which is also an eight. Which is also an eight. What? Which is a four. What? Yeah, he's four to hit. That's another hit. So we have a total of four, what, five, six, the, seven the, again. What? A? A? I I can't account for it. Dead zone denizens. Um, Fours for me, I believe. Add another one. Thank you. So lose two for that. Mm -hmm. Two for the armor. Mm -hmm. I'm tough. One for the tough. So you take two. Two? It, I think he's dead. Oh no, he's wounded now. He's now heinously wounded. He's got four wounds. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, he's on his last wounds now. So he's now designated as wounded. My goodness. I, he's doing it. He, he is, he's, he's it dragging has it taken down. A lot. It, it's taken a lot, but he's dragging it down. Let's yeah. find a wound counter somewhere. There you go. Pop that wound counter on. Already have. The, oh, he's, he's on it. He, he won't give up the opportunity to, to put a wounded counter on that beast. Look, he's not looking well, the Goliath. He's going to have to do something big in the next turn or he's done for. Yep, however, everything in my army has now gone. So my assassin was uh, hiding just behind this building here. And uh, he's, he's zipped forward. One, two, three. And you can just see him. Can you see him there? Center screen. There he is, hiding, hiding against uh, what he thinks is going to be a storm of firepower in the next turn, which I'm not looking forward to. So we can see the psychotroid under the tunnel there. I think he looks really good down there, don't you? Under the uncertain awesome. scenery. Yeah, it is uh, uncertain scenery uh, tunnels. Um, he is within two of the assassin that's just moved up and activated, who is just over there. There he is, and. Um, He's going to try and reinvigorate him and try and uh, try and make him move again this turn. So he's got to roll a five to make that happen. Do I get it? Yes, you do. Excellent. So he, the assassin, is now counted as um, reactivated. Um, well, so it move, it removes his activation token. So essentially. he is deactivated and can be reactivated. and can be reactivated. So I'm going to use a shoot dice, but the psychotroid is going to try it again on something else. He's not within two, sadly, of the Goliath, who, who would like a last hurrah, I certainly would. But uh, uh, sadly, he's not close enough. So I'm going to try it on... I'm going to try on a Scuttler, actually. Yeah, I'm going to try on a Scuttler. Okay. And... You get a seven? A seven, okay. So a, I'm going to reactivate a Scuttler who's going to move forwards uh, to there. It'll just go forward. So that Scuttler's going to go up uh, one and then two. And he can actually go up another level for free because he's got uh, a skill agility that allows him to do that, but he's got no reason to do it, so he's just going to stay there. So the Assassin, uh, being reinvigorated, is also he's going to sweep forwards and he's going to jump into... Who's there? One, two. Who's that there, Zaz? That is one of my um, rangery... Rangery, so he's going to leap onto that gent there. Yay. There we go. And there's going to be combats. So the assassin's hitting the ranger quite uh, shrewdly. Mm -hmm. uh, Warlord Zaz is going to defend against that on fours, because I only hit on fives. Now, I do get frenzy too. So, hey, that's not bad, is it? And I am charging, so I do get an extra dice. But other than that, that's my only advantage. I'm fives to hit, your fours to defend, and that's it. So, mm -hmm. shall I roll first? What do I get? Seven, five, two, one. Now a frenzy two. Frenzy two. Three hits in total. Three hits in total, okay. And you defend on fours. Five, five, three. So I've only done one wound to you. So that's the end of turn two, is it, uh, Warmaster Saz? And uh, what are the victory points so far? I killed um, a couple of enforcers, is that you right? You did indeed. And they're, what, a victory point each? Something like that, That's yeah. right. I'm on three points of victory uh, token. 
of objective. Mm -hmm. So that's three, four, five. Five I made in that turn. Yep. Add to the two I made in the first turn, I'm on seven. Have you made any yet? No. Not yet, but you're very close as, I've just looked in the book and the Goliath is worth five. And he's, Ooh. he is, yes, yes. And he's one hit point. He's one wound away from destroying the Goliath. So what was the roll for your command dice then? My command dice, I rolled two dice. Two dice. A splat. A splat. And a combat. It's, which yeah. I chose to re-roll the combat yeah. and got a combat. So, right, good. Combat, it is then. Very good. So um, I think you needed the extra dice there. And I get, if you tell me, because I'm behind the camera, I can't see a thing. You get a splat, mm -hmm. an activation, mm -hmm. a dice, a move, and a combat. What the hell is all that about? That's a nice mix there. The yeah. only thing you don't have is a shoot. So I don't need that. What, what's that? What, what else did I get? You got an activation. Activation. Get rid of the activation. Don't need that. Okay. Lovely. A dice. Dice. We'll keep the dice. A combat. We'll keep the combat. And a move. We'll keep the move. And now you have an extra dice. Mm -hmm. And you've kept your activation whether you liked it or well, not. Well, whether I like it or not. There we go. So you lose the splat and get another dice, basically. There we go. Very good. And in the first the first move, the first gambit of turn three, Warlord Zaz has used his army special rule to tag the Goliath. Now, the Genling doesn't benefit from that, but it doesn't matter. He's still shooting the Genling cannon from the Strider first, mm -hmm. down with an extra dice onto the Goliath. He, he rolled, what, two extra dice, was Which it? Which I'm also using. Which he's also using. For so a total I, of six dice. Six dice. Now, I have two extra dice, but I've, that's, that's essentially automatically countered by his two extra dice. So we're still rolling evens, really. But Warlord Zaz has a slight advantage of being at height. So he's going to roll fours to hit, and I believe I'm fours to um, defend. Indeed. Excellent. Go for it. Oh. I can't see him here behind the we camera. Have Tell me the news. One, one, two, 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 four. I've, I've had worse rolls against me. I've, I've done, yeah, I won't, I don't need to roll for that. No. That's right. Do you have a shoot dice? No. Oh, well. That's the Gen Link. The Gen Link has done the performance. The Gen Link has... It's, it's the killer. Literally done nothing. It's it's underperformed. Because he's not long for this world. The, uh, I've essentially had to activate the Goliath first, otherwise he's going to get shot to pieces. <laughs> so he's leapt up with his, with his tentacles flailing out of the... Um, out of the catacombs, and he's leapt upon the enemy command. He's leapt upon the enforcer command. He's taking we go. on Zolf Diggler. Zolf Diggler. I haven't heard that name before. I can't. I, I can't place it. So um, he's bigger, and he has charge. So he's got five dice. And let's face it, he's my army commander. He's not going to run away. He's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's. Is he going to? Well, I don't know. What's what's his what's his um, fight stat? Mediocre at yeah. best, but... And what's his survive stat? Better. Your choice. He's not a coward. Right. Okay, well, what's... Uh, yeah, okay, friends, your, your choice. I'm not gonna... I mean, I would defend every time, but, you know. Up to you. What do you want to do? Fight! Okay, he's gonna fight. Okay, I'm, I'll fight first then. Three's to hit. Okay, yes. And you need to roll another dice. Oh, another dice. Um, okay, I've run out of dice. There we go, there's another dice. I don't think I can beat that. Well, let's hope not. No, no, he takes five. Five, so he dies. Uh, he will move into the sniper. Okay. Oh, I'm wounded, by the way. Oh, by the way, roll an extra dice for your commander. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing, okay, fine, because I was sure. wounded, yeah. so you get an extra dice. So, so, your sniper gets an extra dice because I'm wounded. Yep, okay. And, my... and I'm bigger and I've charged, so I get five dice. Right. I would... He will attempt to run away. Good, he's, he's going to try and survive. Yeah. On fours. Because he's not my commander. No. So, you first. You may wish to roll an extra one. Okay. That one? Yeah, well, the, there's a two there. Excellent, so... I'll roll a two. We rolled. Oh. You have one, two, three, four. Did you say fours you need or threes? Threes. threes. Five. That's not too bad. Compared to two. 
Two. He, he dies. Yep. Which I'm glad of. He deserved it. I'm also more glad of because it leaves you exposed in the open. That's true. He's pretty much in the open now. There's not okay. much I can do about that. He's going to stay there, so I'm not going to activate him. Who's he? Just a Pathfinder. Oh, okay. My Pathfinder that is here yeah. is going to move to this square. Cool. Where he is still in the open. Mm -hmm. He is going to shoot his tagged rifle right. against the tagged Goliath. The, the, the Goliath is previously tagged by the Army Special Rule at the beginning of the turn. So, four dice. So, is it only four dice? Oh, no, five. Is he elevated? Nope. Is he in the open? Yes. Two extra dice for being in the open. Oh. Yep, I can see every part. Every part, of it. there we go. So two two yep. extra dice plus one for being tagged. So that should be six, six dice. dice. In all. So I need That's a lot of dice. I can't see what's happening. I can't see what's happening behind the, the camera here. Eight, it eight, looks like a lot of dice. Seven. Six. Five, that was a six. Five. Mm -hmm. Four. There were two extra for the eight. Good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Oh, this could be it. Let's see what I get. So I fours, I believe I need. You need to re-roll that one. Okay. Since you got an eight there. So we have one, two. That's not enough. Two for the armor. Two for the armor. One for tough. Tough. Leaving one damage. He's gone. He is gone. The Goliath is down. <laughs> down so he did a lot of damage killing the commander and a sniper in one turn flat that shows what he can do after yeah. a slow start i really i've got to use him better but he just died to superior firepower I and just, that's five victory points to you i just love the fact that the one guy that kills him is a normal ped as he charges in yeah absolutely normal guy so there um uh, waddles as just telling me that that felt good and you know it felt good to me too it was a, a, a fine fight that the uh, Goliath lost, very much in in the story of what a Goliath should be. So in reply, my Inca moves from the floor there again. He's 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 shot his ink, his smoke, so he's just gonna try and go for that. Does that uh, need to roll to stay? Oh, it does, yes, yes. Have a look, have a go for... Um, yeah, it stays. Stays, and, and the, the other, other one. one. Stays. And both of these smoke uh, squares stay in place. I've been very lucky there, to be honest. Um, the Inca, having done his job, moves uh, up to the um, the second level there, um, hoping to get to the objective next turn. Right, so uh, oh, Assassin, move away. So you um, move away, I roll to try and hit you. Are you wounded? Um, yes, I am. So I do get an extra dice. So it's four dice for me. Yeah, take away. Take away, for me. Three for you. So tell me what I get. Eight, four, four, one. Now that's not very good. So eight, four, four, and one. Yeah. So that's one eight. Frenzy two. So, frenzy two. So I re-roll three dice essentially. Okay, what's that? Um, eight, two, five, three. So what did so, you need to um, hit? I need fives. fives. So it's there only two. two there. So uh, that could be better, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. So you are saving, saving on fives. fours. Fours, that's right. Yes, absolutely fours. I'll yes. find us fours. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. Great, so you successfully move out. You still have your action? Shoot! So you uh, can him. shoot. So um, is he tagged? He's not tagged. He's nope. stealthy, so you can't shoot him in the open, as it were. Can you move to anywhere that can get you height? No. Okay, so it's just three dice then. So he never counts as in the open. No, that's right. That's fine. That's his thing. Okay, we have 8763. My goodness. And I, in reply, get... 532. Um, I save on fives, I believe. Assassin, yeah. you do have one armour, and you save on fives. So... Blah, blah, blah. It's not enough. No. So I'll lose that. Yeah. I'll lose that for the armour. You'll take a wound. You've only got one. One is dead. And I think he's worth two victory points as well. Well, when you take your one, don't you then go down to wounded? Oh, I've only taken one? Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough, I've taken one. So uh, my assassin, heinously wounded he is, is going to move in to combat with the uh, Pathfinder that just heinously injured him. 
both okay. heinously injured. There's a lot of heinousness. Yeah. Heinousness? Is so that a word? I'm not sure it is. you three dice plus you're attacking someone injured that's plus right. you charged. That's right. So that's a total of six, isn't it? Six? My goodness. You uh, get uh, two for the charge, don't you? Nope, just one. Oh, so five. Yeah, yeah so five. Meanwhile, I get four. Four, because I am injured. Yeah. Cool. So Fight are, you, the cripples. are you fighting or are you surviving? I'm surviving. Surviving, good, good. Or not. What do you get? <laughs> a pass. Oh, wait a Go second. On. Fours, you need? Yeah, fours. I get two. Two, okay. So our fives are required. I do okay. get to re-roll two. You get to re-roll two. Plus two eights. Ooh. So um, one, two, three. Minus the two gives you one, which is enough to kill him. Okay, so he's off. Only just there. Very good. Unlucky. Unlucky. Then again, However, you did you... get two eights. Well, I'm activating Doctor. Oh, this, it, he, he really is our fave. Okay, what's he shooting at? Assassin. He's shooting at the assassin. What did he get? Two. One. One. Okay, yeah. well, I've got one armor, so he's fine. Um, however, he is now suppressed. So Miss Scuttler goes one, two down onto that victory point token there. So man with a burst laser, enforcer with burst laser. He's, he's got range to anything he wants, to be honest. Okay, he's going through smoke, so he is minus one dice. Oh yeah, there is smoke. But so he's, he's not, he's, he's above the level of the smoke, so he can shoot. He's just minus one dice. So if he's got any other targets on the ground, for example, that might be easier to hit, yep. he might want to consider that. Yep. Assassin. Okay, so shooting from there to the assassin in the distance over there. Where's the assassin? Can you see him? There he is, very good. So three shots, and he is, uh, wait a minute. So he gets to re roll one. Three. Three? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, fives to save. Two. Plus armor. Um. Oh, yes, are you AP? I don't think you are. Burst laser, range eight, weight of fire, suppression. Nope, so yeah, you're fine. Oh, that was lucky. Two. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so that's the Inca better. moves from the uh, level there to the upper level onto the two point objective. So, as I finish out the turn, I move a scuttler forwards and I put the psychotroid. The psychotroid hasn't really got a lot to do this turn because it, it was essentially reinvigorating the Goliath to do lots of damage, which it did successfully. Mm -hmm. But so the only other thing really it would reinvigorate is the scuttler, which are far forward enough, thank you very much. And the ogre, which is just staying on the Richie Point, the two Richie Point tokens, so he's happy and staying there. So uh, that's it. That will that'll be the end of my turn three. Okay, that is turn three over. So turn three over. So what are the Richie Points looking like at the end of turn three? I now have five. This turn you've killed Zolf Diggler for three, and my sniper. That's right. So that's four. You so got seven, seven last turn. turn, that's right. Plus three this turn, isn't it? Plus three, so seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, four. But, right, so hang on, so, so it's seven last turn, eight, yep. nine, ten for victory point tokens. Yeah. And uh, how many for 11, your men? 12, 13, 13 I'm 14. On. 14 I'm on, there we go, and you're on five. Five. So a, a solid victory, however, I don't know, I designed this, these lists, because as is relatively new to the game, I designed this so that the Goliath could get, get its butt kicked, so it could get shot easily. And in that purpose, this list failed. And it failed, because the one thing that I chose, well, the two things that I chose, didn't kill it quick enough. The Genling cannon failed to hit for four turns straight, well, three turns straight, on, on the Goliath itself, mm -hmm. and... It's infinitely capable of doing it. Mm. It just yep. missed. That was it. Yep. Uh, um, and then it was down to the Pathfinders to eight train the Goliath out of existence. And that's what happened. So you, you're a fan of Pathfinders. I'm a fan of more shots over one big shot. Do you know, I think that's a fair point. And I think the next game we play, we shall design a list to bring lots of firepower to bear. I actually quite like, I think that's a, a fair mm -hmm. way of looking at it. So at the end there, we've, we've, got, we've got that, and the Nameless have all of the, all of the objectives. 
because sadly, the, I mean, it, it, you, you're always going to give away objectives, I think, with the enforcers because they're not a rush army. They're not no. going to come forward. Really, no. they use firepower to destroy the enemy. So, how did that go as a game? A learning curve. Learning curve, that's right. I think the actual victory points at the end aren't quite the point, as we, we're here to prove something today, I think. Yeah, we agreed at the start. The aim was to see if Goliath are as unkillable as everyone says. Mm. And, and that's it. Yeah. Which which meant you went for only one target, really. Yeah. Which was the Goliath. So. Yeah, it was not a strategic game. It was a, can I kill the Goliath? Yeah. And we learned, from that point of view, we learned two things. Yeah. First off... Let's tell us what we learned. Striders. In theory, we put a Strider in this list that should be able to one-shot a Goliath. Yeah. Six shots, sometimes with extra dice being thrown, just rolled badly. All totally done, nothing, not a single wound stripped. I think in the first two turns I was lucky and my command dice gave me extra dice to defend with. There was only one or two that went through anyway. However, tag rifles... You like them, don't you? Well, weirdly enough, the thing that this game will show is that... The 8-train is the most powerful weapon in the game. And the way you get an 8-train is by rolling more dice. Nice. I think that's interesting. More shots, more dice. More damage. I th more damage, I think. I you, you out there that know more about the game than, than we do, is we're relative um, we're noobs to the game, aren't we? We're relatively yeah. naive new players. Can, can tell us if that's, if that's true, is it about... The number of shots and the amount of dice you throw into those shots it probably is rather than one, you know, star killer base type weapon. Yeah, one 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 giant beam weapon like we tried today. Yeah, which I think um, today has proven that even with one giant beam weapon, which can one shot anything in the game, if you have bad luck and you're not rolling many shots, you can miss every turn. Absolutely, absolutely. I think therefore, if we look at the reason that we did the game today which was, can a Goliath get killed? You, you, yes. you won. Yeah, that, 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 well, that yes, objective. Yes, a Goliath can get killed. Yeah. I will say, the Nameless have some absolutely beautiful models. And also, what were they called? The little inky things? Oh, the Incas. Incas oh, are they're amazing. they're amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They're so good. I agree. I agree. One of those powerful things that the Nameless have the access to. The ability to just go, okay, Honestly. right. So, do, do. There you go. You can't shoot through those three squares. Your first turn is now irrelevant. Amazing! The ability, although they can't project the smoke grenade forward like other people can throwing them, the fact that they can just put the smoke token counter down where they want it, maybe use a move dice to put them forward a little bit further, can just cordon off whole parts of the board yep. perfectly. And I, I think that's quite powerful. Amazing. For, like, it's an eight point model, I think. Is that I think it's eight points because it's eight useless points. in combat, and then all it does is just just finds cover because it's really small. <laughs> it just and hides behind something and just just drops on a objective and looks token. For bits of objectives. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, I think they're uh, I think they're the unsung hero of the nameless list, the Inca. So, so see what we're you're... singing for the Inca guys. Yeah, and um, I was pleasantly surprised with the performance of the assassin, which I've not really rated oh. so far. And they were okay. He got into combat. Yeah. It, um, I think it, the psychotroid helped it yeah. for one, and, but it got there and didn't die. And I was really expecting when I look at it, I look at the stats, not bad, but when it when you roll frenzy dice, two, frenzy two, it does kill things, and its armor, <laughs> one point of armor is a thing. I did not notice how good one point of armor is mm. because having previously pl played Maze on Labs, where armor is something that happens to other people. Yeah. You rely on tanky woundiness yes. to keep things alive, but you're taking a lot more damage. Whereas everything in the enforcers has armor here and all. It does, yeah. It's or, like, or, or a really good save. Yeah. Or a good save. It's, uh, yeah. Even your light stuff is heavier than most armies. Mm. Heavy stuff. It's mad. But um, if you if you redesign the army, so if you had to redesign the whole army, how would you? You know, to kill the Goliath or to kill big creatures, how would you restructure? Would you take the stride with the Genling again? I don't know. Was it just it's, unlucky today? It, it may have just been unlucky, but equally, 
there's no way of really guaranteeing it re-rolls or extra dice. You can rely on a little bit of hope with your command dice. Oh, I'm a hopeful player. But tag rifles, you can always guarantee an extra dice. You can add a tag if you take a certain commander. There is certainty of being able to hit things, which I think actually, if I was playing again, what I would do is concentrate on pathfinders. So you're not thinking of like peacekeepers with extra armor and a bigger gun, you're just thinking more shots, more dice. Full stop. That's more that. shots, more certain shots, stripping things down. Good. So thank you for joining us for Dead Zone. We proved the points, I think, that yeah, Goliaths Goliath can be killed. Indeed. And we proved the point in a way that I didn't plan, in that they can be killed by normal stuff. I think that's that's probably more important. So that, mm -hmm. that's the bit that I learned. Right? Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Take care. Oh, when, Cheers. Uh, and remember, when you throw your grenade, yeah, throw it hard because they, they bounce back.